it's, you know, getting out of the shower and the towels around your waist and you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're just like, there I am. Elliot Page had a whirlwind Hollywood ride from his breakout role in Juno, becoming an X-Men to working alongside Leonardo DiCaprio in Inception. In these highly acclaimed films, he was credited as Ellen Page, but those days are long gone as he revealed to the world in 2020 that he was transgender in a powerful statement on Instagram. I was up in Nova Scotia and I spent a lot of time just by myself, and I think it really allowed me to really get to sit with myself. Page expressed overwhelming gratitude for those who have supported him. I can't begin to express how remarkable it feels to finally love who I am enough to pursue my authentic self, he wrote, adding that he has been endlessly inspired by members of the trans community. And I'm not having the moment where I'm panicked. It's, it's being able to feel comfortable in my body for the, probably the first time. Just this past week, Elliot took to Instagram to his 5.4 million followers with another post showing his new look after having recovered from top surgery. In this pic, he's ready to go for a swim with the caption that reads, Trans BB's first swim trunks. Trans joy, trans is beautiful. Obviously, this post and all the recent headlines surrounding Elliot's transformation have been overwhelmingly positive. Good for you, boyo. I just like to call people that. Hey guys, my name is Kara the Vampire Slayer and we typically do celebrity host tour videos in this channel, but over the past two years, I've also done plenty of before and after videos, which you guys seem to like. We don't get a ton of views when we launch them, but they grow over time and they are a lot of fun for me to make. Show some support for the channel and Elliot by hitting that like button. And now let's get into this video. Born in 1987, the child of a French teacher and a graphic designer, Paige grew up in Halifax, in the maritime province of Nova Scotia. Paige enjoyed a relatively independent childhood, playing soccer, riding his bike, and swimming in a lake. When asked if he feels he was born in a trans body by Vanity Fair, Paige shared some of his feelings on his upbringing. When I was a little kid, absolutely 100%, I was a boy. I knew I was a boy when I was a toddler, he said. I was writing fake love letters and signing them Jason. Every little aspect of my life that is who I was, who I am, and who I knew myself to be. Paige's parents divorced when he was very young, so he shuffled back and forth between their houses for two weeks at a time. Additionally, his mother had family in Toronto, so Paige got to see the big city when he wanted to visit them. On one trip, he saw the musical The Phantom of the Opera and fell in love with it and set his sights on becoming an actor. When he turned 16, Paige moved to Toronto to pursue acting in the big city. But soon after, he had to move to California and soon came his breakout role in Hard Candy. As a young kid, Elliot always enjoyed sporting short hair and in early roles in Canadian films like Pit Pony and Mouth to Mouth, Elliot would have to wear a wig or grow it out to fit the role. In 2007, along came the screenplay for the indie comedy drama Juno, which racked up hundreds of millions of dollars at the box office. The film even won an Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay, as well as nominations for Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Actor actress in a leading role. Overnight, she had become a star. Next came Whip It, then the opportunity of a lifetime in Inception, working alongside Christopher Nolan, Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hardy, and more. Following this was the role of Kitty Pride in X-Men Days of Futures Past in 2013. It wasn't all positive news though. During the Me Too movement, Elliot took to Instagram to expose a few encounters she had dealt with while working in Hollywood. It ranged from directors saying terrible things to him, to grips of sex assaulting him all before he was even 18 years old. He wrote on Facebook, I want to see these men have to face what they have done, referring to all of the abusers in Hollywood. I want them to not have power anymore. Amen to that. Solidified as a Hollywood A-lister and even a superhero, Elliot has big news to share with her fans. In 2014, he first came out as a lesbian and became an outspoken and passionate member of the LGBTQ plus community. I was just so ready to do it and quite frankly, so excited to do it. So it was a combination of just such thrill to finally be at that place in my life where I was able to do that. Fully embracing his new identity, Elliot participated in the Viceland documentary, Gaycation, alongside with the goal of shedding light on the experience of LGBTQ plus people everywhere. Having someone dislike me for my sexuality and it's so important for us to move past just the shame and discomfort that 
we all grow up feeling. The duo met all kinds of people in all kinds of places, from a young boy coming out to his mother in Japan, to a cop who is also sometimes a contracted hitman who targets gay people in Brazil, while also producing his own films with LGBTQ leads like Freeheld and My Days of Mercy. Elliot was married in 2018 to Emma Porner, a dancer from Canada. Then, in December 2020, Elliot Page came out as transgender. Elliot received a lot of support after his announcement, with celebs like Miley Cyrus, Kate Mara, Ruby Rose, and Anna Packen posting supportive messages in the comments of his Instagram post. On March 16, 2021, Page graced the cover of Time magazine, announcing the success of a top surgery, an elective double mastectomy, and declaring of the procedure. It has completely transformed my life. While much of this may have been ongoing in the background, at least to the public view, this has been a rapid and dramatic change. Not only has it, you know, been life changing for me, I do believe it's life saving. Um, and it's the case for so many people. The surgery was done in Toronto and Elliot rested over the Christmas holidays, taking tons of time before revealing the transformation to the world. On some level, it feels just like the most miraculous, amazing thing. And it also was just sort of, oh, there I am. So much of his energy was spent on being uncomfortable in his body, he says. And a part of me was like, oh my God, that, why was that so hard? Why? Now that he has that energy back, he's also got a killer six pack. Another dramatic change is that Elliot has also filed for divorce from Emma Porter. He was inspired by trailblazing trans icons like Janet Mock and Laverne Cox, who found success in Hollywood while living authentically. Elliot Page's latest project, The Umbrella Academy, started in 2019. I've yet to watch the show myself, but seeing as her character identifies as female, well, I'm guessing the character will be having a transformation of some sort as well. I guess we'll have to wait and see. And Anyways, that about wraps it up for this before and after. After talking all about Elliot's transformation, what did you guys think? Be sure to drop me a comment down below so we can discuss and tell me who else we should do a before and after video on. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!